it's our next instalment of spring cleaning our houses and today we are going to be taking on the living room and going through some safety checks to avoid some spring cleaning injuries. If you are looking for some spring cleaning motivation without having to take a trip to the doctor's surgery, then go no further because we have got your back right here on the Hades Health Channel. Spring cleaning is a wonderful thing, but it can also come with catastrophic consequences. Did you know in April, GPs and chiropractors have the most amount of patients attending due to spring cleaning related injuries? And we can go ahead and add yours truly to that statistic. This week, I have mostly been laid up in bed because I have felt like Harry Hippopotamus has charged at me and trampled on me and then he's recruited Rodney the Rhino to just stab his horn into my back as many times as possible. I have been in agony this week with my back and my ribs. I've spoken to my GP and I am now taking ibuprofen to ease the inflammation. The biggest cause of these type of injuries is due to us not pacing ourselves and overworking ourselves to the bone. With this in mind, let's go through our living room spring clean with tips and tricks that we can all do to avoid injury and some methods we can use if we have a chronic condition. The first job in our living rooms that we are all gonna be tackling is going around the ceilings and getting rid of any dust and cobwebs that may be lingering. When it comes to actually doing this task, this is gonna be putting a lot of pressure and a lot of strain on our backs, on our shoulders, and because of the movement, if we're not moving properly, we can end up sustaining an injury. My best advice here when it comes to doing this is find a lightweight appliance. So for me, me and my darling Robbie the Ranger, we took to the internet to source a lightweight vacuum and it turns out that this seems to be the best on the market. This is the Halo capsule. It is super duper light. I can hold this with just one hand. It's not heavy at all. So this is a really good option if you do suffer from back pain, if you do have any chronic conditions, using a lightweight device like this is gonna be a lot more better on our bodies. I have been using this a lot since I've got it because I've just found that as I am getting older, I am 36 now, I just can start feeling the wear and tear on my body of all the years of cleaning and vigorously scrubbing things and wool washing and vacuuming and lugging around big heavy vacuums. So this has been a welcomed addition into our house. This particular Halo vacuum weighs 2.6 kilograms. So to give you some context of what that's the equivalent of, it's the equivalent of a four pint carton of milk. That is the same weight as this here vacuum. The reason the Halo capsule is so light is because the capsule itself is made from carbon fiber. We have charged this for three hours. That is the time that it takes to be fully charged. And now I have got a full hour of being able to use this lightweight, cordless vacuum. vacuuming your high up areas to avoid injury make sure that you engage your core and make sure that you are putting weight on both feet so your back foot and your front foot and also make sure that you've got a nice good firm grip with both hands this particular task can be quite an overbearing task especially if you've got a chronic condition so my advice when doing this particular task 
is try and break it down into sections. So for example, if you know this is gonna take you 10 minutes, do this for 10 minutes and then you're gonna move on to a task where you can be predominantly sitting. So this could be anything from organizing paperwork to doing a bit of dusting, sitting down, you know, like ornaments and stuff, but just break it up so that you're not standing the whole time and putting so much strain on your body and on your posture. <laughs> when it comes to taking on the spring cleaning if you suffer from a chronic condition is find your time so in the mornings you might feel like you've got a lot more energy it might be in the afternoons it might be later in the evening whatever time you feel you have the most energy and the most well take that time to carry out the cleaning tasks that are important to you. This doesn't have to be a whole house clean. It just needs to be tasks that you find are important to you. So write these down in a organizer and you can tick them off as you're going and just make sure that when you do this, you pace yourself. That is the key thing here. Pace yourself and cut it up into 10 minutes, five minutes, even two minutes, whatever works for you. And if you find yourself getting tired, take a break from doing the more strenuous tasks. These will be things like mopping, vacuuming. These will take a lot of energy, even washing the dishes. These will take a lot of energy and put a lot of strain on your body. So switch them out for tasks that are gonna be less strenuous. So with that being said, we are now gonna move on to a task that still needs to be completed, but this isn't gonna be as strenuous. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna position ourselves in a comfortable seat. We are going to make sure that we are comfortable, that our back is being supported, and we are going to do a bit of dusting with our ornaments that are in our living rooms. Another really good tip here for all of us is try to reduce the amount of stuff that you have. More stuff you have, more cleaning you're gonna to need to do, and this is then putting more strain and more stress on your body because it's gonna be taking you longer than it actually needs to.
have cleaned and dusted all of our ornaments that are lying around our living room. We're going to move on to cleaning and polishing our tables. So these would be any consoles you have, any coffee tables. Now, I am guilty when I do this of I normally come in here and I'm the worst for it. I literally just take my cloth and I go, I like hunch my back over and I give it a wipe down. It's the worst thing you can do. It's over time, this is gonna really start to damage your back. Again, I make the mistake so you don't have to. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is when we get over to our coffee tables, we're actually going to get lower to the ground so that we're not bending over. And if you do wanna do it bent over, then there are proper ways that you can do this. And these will be things like making sure that you keep your back straight and you bend from your knees as opposed to hunching over like I am guilty of doing forever and a day. So let's head over to the coffee table and we can go ahead and start cleaning the tables around our living room. this guys try to switch over your hands so you're balancing out the weight so I am actually right-handed and I generally tend to use this hand to clean with but when it comes to doing things like this on tables because it glides over quite smoothly try and switch over to your left hand or your right hand if you're left-handed just so that you're balancing it out so you're, you're not constantly using the same hand and the same shoulder is then being aggravated constantly so you're swapping between the two. our tables within our living room we're going to move on to vacuuming the sofa and the floors when it comes to vacuuming the sofa we need to be really careful if we're moving the sofa out and trying to get underneath it a that we get help in doing this and b that we create the right posture when it comes to cleaning the sofa. So doing a lot of bending and throwing all of the cushions on the floor, especially if you've got a chronic condition, this isn't gonna be any good for you because you're gonna to have to keep getting down and picking up. So what we wanna do when it comes to cleaning the sofa is we want to go ahead and place our cushions on a chair or an area where it's kind of at waist height for us so it's easy for us to pick up so we're not having to do a lot of bending while we are doing this particular task. So let's head over to the sofa and we'll begin vacuuming and cleaning any crumbs or fur from Luna off of the sofa.
on to a vacuuming. Vacuuming is often one of the biggest causes for bad posture and spine injuries. This is because what we tend to do is have this like, as we do with sitting sometimes, we have this kind of like slouching position where we slouch over. I know that I have done it for ages. I just kind of almost like slouch over as I'm vacuuming. This is not ideal for our backs and our spine. So what you wanna do when, you, when it comes to vacuuming is first of all, a really good thing, especially if you've got chronic conditions, is like I said at the beginning of this video, working with a lightweight vacuum. The heavier the vacuum, the more strain you're gonna be putting on your body. So working with a lightweight vacuum, and you wanna take a start on where it's almost like a fencing position, you know, like the on guard. You don't want a deep lunge, you just want it to be a comfortable position with your front knee bent, and you're gonna work around the room in this position. Now, as we're working, we're also, with this position, gonna change hands. So again, this is a really easy thing to do when you've got a lightweight vacuum because where it's so light, you have control over the vacuum still, whereas generally with heavier hoovers, you want to kind of use your predominant hand. So for me, it would be my right hand. But with a light vacuum, you can still have good control over the vacuum. Another technique, and this will only be useful if you find getting up and down easy. If you don't, then scrap this one and just go with the kind of fencing position. But another really good technique, if especially if you have kind of like back pain, is actually doing certain sections on your knees, so almost like a marriage proposal position. Let's get this going. We're going to turn on the brush and I'm going to put it on its boost performance. And we're just going to go around the whole room and begin vacuuming. on this spring clean. I hope you found it helpful. I have managed to get the living room looking nice, clean and tidy without actually putting any further aggravation on my back or my ribs. If you enjoyed this video and you found some of the tips and tricks helpful, go ahead and smash the like button for me. This really does help. If you are new here and you want to follow the Haley's Help channel, then go ahead and click on the subscribe button because we have got loads more cleaning and homemaking content winging its way to you. If you would like any more information about the Halo capsule vacuum that I was using in today's spring clean, then head over to the description box and the links are in there. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you have sustained any spring cleaning injuries yet, or if you've sustained any injuries doing cleaning all year round. I mean, there's probably lots of us. I will be back again next week, Sunday, for some more Haley's help. So until then, team, as always, keep it clean.